Hi there, Wally Wells with Marie Max Dallas Shot Center. I'm here today to show you this beautiful 2020 Azimut 50 Fly. The current owners purchased this boat new and took delivery in January of 2021. So it's been here on Lake Louisville its whole life. Fresh water, low hours, just 76 hours on the engines and 197 hours on the generator. This boat is powered by twin Volvo Penta D11 725 horsepower diesel engines with V drives and joystick control for easy maneuvering in the harbor. During our sea trial, the boat performed to spec, reaching full RPMs and full speed. This boat is very well maintained. In fact, it received bottom paint and a full exterior detail this month, July of 2023. In addition, the teak is sanded and oiled, as you can see here, and the whole thing just looks sensational. The boat is equipped with a hydraulic swim platform, which can support a tender or jet ski. The boat is equipped with underwater transom lights and above flush mounted LED floodlights on the cockpit overhang that are at just the right angle to light up the stern area of the boat. And of course, it's equipped with a cable master, which makes it easy to manage the shore power cord when you're cruising from place to place. Access to the cockpit is made easy by entrance gates, port and starboard. You'll see a large U-shaped seating area in the cockpit with a cockpit table and the fly bridge overhang provides a lot of shade and is a very nice feature to have when it's raining outside. There are mooring winches to assist in tying up at the dock. Below the battery switches, there's an ice maker and under the salon settee, there's a refrigerator drawer, which is convenient to the swim platform. Also here in the cockpit is engine room access and the engine room is very spacious and easy to access equipment and components if needed. In addition, there are cruise quarters under the settee in the cockpit, which has a head, shower, storage, and AC, everything for a captain or crew member. Here at the bow, we have an electric anchor windlass, plow anchor with all chain road. The trapezoidal shaped bow allows for more deck space here in this area. There's also a very comfortable bow sofa and a couple of large sun lounges here with drink holders for the sunbathers of your group. Here at the Flybridge, we have a fully equipped helm featuring twin Raymarine flat screen displays, joystick controller, autopilot, sea keeper control, Volvo Penta display, everything needed to pilot the boat that mirrors the instrumentation at the lower helm station. Opposite the helm, there's a large U-shaped seating area with a lounge forward so that it's comfortable for your guests to join you when you're piloting the boat from the flybridge. Also here on the flybridge is a food prep station featuring a Kenyan electric grill, sink, fridge, and storage area. Great place to grill out in the open with plenty of space and ventilation. Aft of the food prep station is a lounge area featuring two love seats with a coffee table. This is a great place to enjoy the view, sunsets, fireworks, and conversation. When you enter the salon through the sliding glass doors, you'll notice this really handsome and robust polished stainless steel door frame. Everything about it is just robust and overbuilt. In the salon, there are hardwood floors and a leather upholstery. There's a large U-shaped sofa with an electric high-low dining table. And opposite of that is a matching love seat. Behind it is a high-low TV. And to the left of it is a glass china cabinet with the glassware visible here. And below is a set of drawers featuring the azimuth china itself. This room has fantastic visibility with the large windows and the sliding door allowing for great view and plenty of light. Stepping up, we see a very well-equipped galley with melee appliances and two refrigerator drawers that make it much easier to access the items inside. There's a microwave, stove, sink, trash bin, and extra storage space. Lots of storage here and in the pantry below, which we'll see later. The visibility up here is excellent. You're not stuck downstairs inside the boat, isolated from everyone else. Opposite the galley is the lower helm station, which features these attractive dual helm bucket seats with footrests. On the dash, you'll find dual Raymarine displays, the Seakeeper stabilizer controller, autopilot, engine controls and joystick, and this handsome steering wheel. The helm station provides excellent visibility and comfort to pilot the boat if you want to be in a climate controlled environment. As we go below in the boat, we're going to enter this landing area, which is like a solarium. There's light coming in from overhead. And in this area, there's a refrigerator, a washer and dryer combo, 
and more storage space. In fact, the pantry space, if you will. In front of that is the day head, which features the vessel style sink, electric head, separate shower stall, and handsome fixtures throughout. And now we're going to enter the VIP stateroom, which features a centerline queen berth, two hanging lockers, massive headroom, TV on the bulkhead, private access to the day head. This is a very comfortable guest room and comparable to most master staterooms on other boats this size. In the third stateroom, we have the sleeping spaces with bunks, and it's a great place for kids. Each bunk is equipped with a TV. This also has a large hanging locker as well. The master stateroom is a beautiful beam-to-beam -beam master with large windows that bring in an abundance of light. There's a TV on the bulkhead, and it's equipped with two hanging lockers. Lots of storage space, and I really like these recessed countertop spaces, which work as fiddles to help keep things in place. The master stateroom has a private head featuring a vessel style sink, electric head, separate shower stall, and handsome fixtures just like in the day head. Well that wraps up this video for the 2020 Azimut 50 Fly. It's a beautiful boat, fresh water, low hours, it's ready to go. If you're interested in this boat, please call the number on the screen. My name is Wally Wells and for Marine Max, thanks for watching.